Hello and welcome back to a very special Euro 2021 edition from the What You Is Doing football channel. Yes, we are going to be doing a very special edition for this summer's tournament and we're going to be ranking our top five best kits for the Euros. Just before we kick things off, I would like to just say thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed and been there uh, commenting on the videos so far. It's been really appreciated. We have been slowly climbing up to that 100 subscriber mark. So I really appreciate everyone that has been subscribing. So thank you very much. It is really greatly appreciated. So like I said, we're going to be ranking our top five kicks for the Euros. And I could have done a review on all of the kicks, but to me that just we would have dragged on a wee bit so I'm, I've narrowed it down to my top five and I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on the kit with you and just to say as a disclaimer these are only my opinion this isn't me saying that this is right or this is wrong it's only my opinion but I would love to hear what you guys think and what some of your favorite kits are please hit those uh, comments down below it would be appreciated as always and I will try to reply to as many as I can. So without any further ado let's get into it. Bin five. So starting off with number five I have chosen the Finland home kit. Now you may think there's not much going on with the Finland home kit but at the same time, there's something intriguing about it and it kind of reminds me, I'm not sure in particular which one, but it kind of reminds me of an Inter Milan away kit. Um, I, off the top of my head, I can't genuinely remember which one, but it kind of resembles that. And like, you know, I think with some kits, the simpler the design is, the more effective it is. And I think Finland have kind of nailed this here. like. Obviously, with the Finland sort of um, flag kind of going through it, like you know, it fades in from a blue and all and almost into a very deep navy or black. I'm not sure, like sort of of the quality of the picture, but it's such a simple kit, and I think it's a really nice kit as well. It's very understated and it's not trying to be too flashy, um, and yeah, like I mean, there's not much else to say about it, but. Again, that one kind of caught my eye saying I would probably wear that. So, yeah, that is why Finland are at my number five. Big four. So, going on to number four. And we have got the Germany Blackout Kit. Now, in general, I've never been a massive fan of Blackout Kits. Just for the same reason, no matter what team actually does it. It all looks the same. I know that that's the actual point of a blackout kit, but it's never been something that's caught my eye. But for some reason, for a Germany kit, it, it kind of suits it. I think maybe because in general, when normal football teams do it, you'd like you know you've you've got the, like you know the, the badge, the kit maker, and the sponsor as well. But because again, it's a really simple design, and it's again not got a lot going for it as such it's really nice like like again it's something that I would wear and that's what I've kind of based all these picks off like you know it, how much would I want to wear that kit and I think again with the simplicity of this black Germany kit like literally all you've got is the gold and the, the red trim on the sleeves and then you've got the kind of lighter and uh, the black Adidas stripes going on the shoulders and that's literally it but again it's a really nice shirt and it's very simple and again this was something i would probably wear myself um how much they're going to actually wear this kit i don't know i don't know if it's like officially their away kit or if it's a third kit i'm not too particularly sure i didn't look too deep into that but as a shirt like it's pretty flawless and it's a really nice design so well done germany you go in at number four and three. So going on to number three now, the top three was kind of the hardest to actually pick, but I think I've chosen it relatively fairly from my point of view. So at number three, we have got the Italy Away Kit. Now it is such a beautiful design. Um, most Italy kits throughout the two thousands have always been lovely, and in general in the past as well, but. 
for this one, I think it's such an intricate and beautiful retro sort of um, the design there. Um, like, I can't quite make out what the actual design actually is going through, through the trip, but it's almost like a psychedelic sort of thing happening here. And it's very reminiscent of the Renaissance sort of uh, the period as well. Um, yeah, I, 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 again, it's relatively simple, obviously apart from the actual design itself, but again, there's like, it's a beautiful design, but it's kind of something that you would expect in Italy to actually have. And it, it's just so satisfying, just the way that the corners of the design meet, and then um, you've literally got the white stripes of the shoulders um, on top, and then you've got the Obviously, the Puma the, the, um, logo there as well. Again, obviously, I know that national strips tend to be a bit more simplistic, but there's just something about this the, the design of it. It's just so satisfying, and again, this would be something that I would definitely wear. I would never sell. And yeah, um, I think Italy have nailed it here, and it's a topic for an away kit as well. So, in my book, in terms of the away kit, They've absolutely nailed it. So well done to you, Italy. So going on to number two. Now, again, this was a pretty hard like sort of um, decision to actually make b -b -b between who would be my top and my second pick. But I've decided to opt for in at number two. It is the Slovakia home kit. Now, for all of you that have watched my videos, I am very partial to a very subjective and very debatable sort of um, designs but this one I think is absolutely fabulous. Again it's got a very psychedelic look to it and um, it almost look looks like it's mountains like sort of like merged in touching together and it's blended in lovely with the blue and the dark navy but again it's just such a beautiful home strip and Obviously, I'm, I'm not too aware of the sort of the Eastern European sort of uh, countries kits. Um, I've never really taken notice of them, but for this one, this one straight away caught my eye and it's just such, it's, it's just eye catching, I think is the main word for it. And like, it, yeah, like there's not, there's, there's so much to say about it, but there's not much to say about it, if that makes sense, because what you see in the picture, it just says it all. Obviously they say a picture speaks a thousand words, but the first word I thought was fuck. So yeah, um, obviously this was originally going to be my top pick for this one, but the first place one just managed to squeeze it through. But again, I would buy this in an instant and I think it's one of the best kits I've seen for a long time in any tournament. And um, if Slovakia can do the business on the pitch with this kit <laughs> man you got the whole package right there so again well done to Slovakia and number one and finally in at number one we have got they've already been in the list already and yes it is the Italy home kit now again it's very much the same reasons as why I put the away kit in there but look at it it it's almost as if somebody has taken an Italian wallpaper from like the 15th or 16th century and managed to put this onto a strip. Again, it is just so gorgeous and it is an absolutely intricate, beautiful, well-designed kit. You know, it's almost a kit that you're gonna buy but you almost don't want to wear it because it just looks so precious, like, you know? Um, Obviously, again, like I said about the away kit, you know, it's got that very Renaissance vibe to it, you know, like, you know, and obviously with the gold trim as well, going through the badge and the Prima logo as well. Like I said, I would be more inclined not to wear this kit if I bought it, but, and especially as well, with the collar as well, like I've said many a time, I'm always a fan of a strip that has a collar on it, and Again, I think Italy have just absolutely nailed this. And if maybe Italy can replicate their World Cup win back when into this tournament, I've no doubt that 
this strip would give them some sort of ethical competence as well, knowing that they probably got the best strip out of all the national teams that have qualified. So, yeah, again, like, I can't, there's literally not a single thing I do not like about the strip. It is faultless, and like I said, if you were to buy this, prove me wrong if you would wear the strip outside. Prove me wrong because I would be locking this away and never going outside with it ever. So, yes. Just to recap, we're gonna go through our top five list. So in number five, we've got the Finland home kit. In number four, we have got the Germany blackout kit. In number three, we have got the Italy away kit. In number two, we have got the Slovakia home kit. And just nudging it into first place, our first pick is the Italy home kit. So that was our top five kits for the Euros of 2021. I know that this was a very short and brief video, but I just wanted to share my opinions and views on these kits. And I would, again, love to hear your opinions on what your favorite kit or even worse kit for the Euros this year. So once again, guys, I really appreciate all the support and all the comments that you guys have gave so far. It is really deeply appreciated, but if you have stopped below across this channel and if you do enjoy the content, please think about subscribing and smash that like button if you have enjoyed this video. And as always guys, thank you so much again and I will see you in the next one. We've got quite a few exciting new videos coming up within the next few weeks, so stay tuned and thank you very much again. Take care, bye for now.